and blessings everyone welcome to the humble servant homestead guys today we are out here again guess what remember that other hen that was trying to go in there with the other mom that just hatched out well it's 22 days now and she have etched out her chicks now as y'all can see right here all right man, don't bother me. But as y'all can see right here, we have a white chick inside of this batch right here. And where this is coming from, we have Rhode Island Reds uh, also with the bald rocks inside of this coop here. And that is where that color is coming from there. Uh, we are kind of hoping that it might be Delaware, but we'll see what happens once they fully grown out. Now guys, I'm bringing y'all back here today again. Uh, you know, for the reason is, I, I had a couple of questions. I had somebody told me that, hey, I want to start raising chicks. Um, you know, I want to know what to do, you know, once I get into start raising chicks. Now, the main thing is, guys, when y'all get ready to raise chicks is you want to make sure you have housing for your chickens. You want to make sure you go out and, you know, find out what kind of birds you're trying to get. Um, you know, you know what kind of coop you're trying to get now you have big coops out there you have small coops but that all depends on how much chicken you are trying to get okay and you know it's, it's real basic it's real basic um feeding chickens uh what we do here uh, on the homestead we feed our chicken twice a day uh we get up in the morning we feed our chickens and also in the evening time, right at around four o'clock or so, we will feed them again so that feed can tie them off over until the next morning, okay? Um, another thing is you have pine shavings that are out there. You want to make sure you put pine shavings down inside of your chicken coop for your bedding just so that they can have something real nice and, and dry the way they can run on, that way they keep their feet clean. So whenever they do come on in and lay, the eggs will also stay clean. Okay? And so, you know, mom is a little bit kind of mad here. At mom is pecking the mess yeah, out of your she, hand. She's pecking me, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it ain't the first rodeo dealing with chickens here, guys. Um, when I was a... A How little, many chicks do you have? Um, surprisingly, it's supposed to have been 11 eggs on the year, but I'm counting 12 chicks. No, I put 12 under there. Oh, you put 12? I put 12, yes. Okay, well, 100% success rate. Wow. Hatching rate. So they hatched out 12 more again, you know? And so that is that is very, very good. That is very good. And I believe I got all of them. Um, okay. Now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve there. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do right now? Um, I'm not gonna put mom with these chicks here. I know it may seem a little bit sad, but right now I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and separate these chicks here from mom. Mom is definitely not happy right now, but that's all right. You know, so I'm gonna go ahead and separate her, separate her. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now, I'm gonna take you guys up on the other side of our uh, brooder where we have, we're gonna be housing these chicks right here. And we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get on that side. Okay guys, so here I am. Um, on the top side of the coop here, where we have these one that hatched it out uh, right around 22 days now. And as y'all can see, they are doing real good. They are pretty nice and healthy, guys. And another thing, there is no kind of medicated, nothing with these chicks here. They are just going off a straight, all natural layer pellet, um, not layer pellet, but um, chick starter. That is it. That is it. Now. <laughs> On my way up here, I did have to change a plan. I changed my mind about not putting mom inside of here, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because I do not want to put any uh, light on these chicks here at this moment. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep mom inside of this coop here with them. And the reason for that is to keep them warm at night. Uh, because they are young chicks, they do need that warmness. And that's where the light would come in, but I'm not going to run any light in here. So mom will be coming over with the chicks um another thing is as y'all can see here 
I have the bedding, I have the water, and I also have the feed. Now, since mom is going to be... I heard you. So since mom is going to be coming over, what I'm going to do, the way how I build this uh, little brooder right here, I build it where that we can open it up to the other side, guys. And look at it. Voila. And now, with mom, with mom being up here, they will have plenty of space to run around, play, and do all that they want to do. Now, I know some of you guys may be thinking that am I going to put all these chicks in here with the mom together? The answer is yes. Now, like I say, I've been raising chickens for quite a while now, and I've done this plenty of time. And what that also does, it helps them to have a better relationship with one another. Because sometimes you go out there and you buy some chicken and you brought them in to put with other chicken and they fight. But this right here, they won't have that problem because they will be growing up together. Now they're only 22 days apart. And so I'm just going to go ahead and turn them on out. I know they're probably pretty thirsty. So what I'm going to do after a while, I'm going to go ahead and bring mom on up. I'm going to show a couple of them where the water is so that way they can go ahead and start drinking. Now look at that. Y'all can come on in and look here how they are, you know, they're checking each other out and they, 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 they're they going to be just fine. And of course, what I will do um, as time goes on, I will bring y'all back and we will do an updated video on these uh, chickens here. But let me go on down there and bring mom up real quick so we can see that reaction what's gonna happen okay I'm back with mom right now and so now I'm gonna go ahead and put her on in so she can go ahead and be with her little ones and as y'all can see over here she is just a chirping chirping So far guys, as y'all can see, mom is not even pecking at these little ones here because she thinks now that all of them inside of here is her young ones. That's just that motherly instinct that mom have and they are going to be totally fine. Like I said, this has been tried and true here on this homestead. Not just the homestead, not this homestead, but when previously when I used to raise chickens, this is what I used to do here, guys. Now, I have some other chickens that's supposed to be coming in, and guess what? They will all go inside of here. I'm going to put all of them inside of here, and they all will grow together, be happy together. But that's it right there, guys. I hope I was able to touch on a lot of little questions that people may have out there with our rearing chicks. But nonetheless, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys out there. If you like the content you guys got here today, uh, you know, throw a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and also share this video with someone out there. And also check us out on Facebook, guys, and also Instagram. And have a peace and blessed day. All right.